All right, so in this problem, what we're talking about are just the basics of exponents, okay? Now, you can see that this says a times a times a times a times a. Now, how many a's are there? Five. And so another way of writing that would be a to the fifth, okay? So let's look at number three. Number three says x times x times y times y times y right and so what is x times x it's not 2 it's x squared and what is y times y times y y cubed and so another way of writing this would be that right there okay look at 5 it's I've got 3 and then a times a times a is a to the third power, and c times c times c is c to the right. Now look at this one. I've got x minus y times x minus y. Well, I could write that as x minus y to the what? To the second power. See, the problem said rewrite using what? Exponents. Okay, here I've got 5 and then mn times mn times mn, and so that'll be mn to the what? To the third power. On this one, I have 4 plus x times 4 plus x, and so that would be 5 times 4 plus x what? Second to the second, because there's two of them. If there were three of them, it'd be cubed. If there were four of them, it'd be the four. Now on 13 to 23, we're doing the opposite. Now they give us x to the fifth and they want us to expand it, okay? Or rewrite it without using exponents. So I've got x times x times x times x times x. Five x's x to the fifth in. Okay, now real quick, let me write this out here. Four x to the third power. You guys got that written down? 4x to the third. Now, this 4 right here is called the coefficient. Okay? The x is called the variable, but we also call it the what? Can you say base? Everybody say base. base. It's all about that base, isn't it? And then the cubed right here is called the what? Exponent. So you've got the coefficient is the number in front of the variable. You've got the variable here we call the base. And then the power it's being raised to is called the exponent, right? Now, in this, in, in number 15, you can see that x is being raised to what power? To the third and y's to the second so that's going to be x times x times x now why did i write three of them because it's cubed say cubed. cubed and then i've got y squared which is y times y and so i wrote this expression here without what without exponents. Now here I have m plus n cubed, so I can write that as m plus n times m plus n times m plus n. Right? Now look at number 19. I've got 3, so I'm just going to write 3, and then I've got rt to the fourth power. So that's rt times rt times RT times RT, right? So I wrote four of them because it's raised to the fourth power, didn't I? Now, 21's instructions are different. 21 does not ask me to write it without exponents because 10 squared without exponents would be 10 times 10, wouldn't it? When they say evaluate, they want me to actually do it, like get an answer, get a number. 10 times 10 is what? 100, so that's it evaluated. 
5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. So if you type that in your calculator, go ahead and tell me what you get. 125, very good. Okay, so on these problems, it tells me to evaluate for the given value of the variable. So what I need to do is I need to plug 3 in for A. That's what it's asking me to do, right? And so when I plug 3 in for A, they're saying, what is 3 cubed? Well, that's the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3, which they've already told me right here is 27. So now on this one, they want me to put 2 in for what? Say X. And so I've got 3 times 2 in the parentheses, all cubed. Well, I have to do what's inside the parentheses for, before I can cube it. What's 3 times 2? So now I'm taking 6 and cubing it, which means 6 times 6 times 6. Now I know 6 times 6 is what? 36 times 6 more is what? 216. And so I did what they asked me to do. I did 3 times 2 and then I cubed it. It's real important that when you work these problems that you actually read the instructions, okay? Because each problem, what they want you to do is going to be different.